Prince Harry fuels Meghan Markle engagement rumours as he jokes about taking partner to Remembrance Day event. Prince Harry fueled speculation of an engagement to Meghan Markle as he joked with a war veteran about bringing her to a Westminster Abbey event next year. Harry, 33, looked relaxed as he chatted and laughed with Matt Weston, a bomb disposal expert in Afghanistan, who asked where his US actress girlfriend was during the Remembrance event on Thursday. Mr. Weston, 28, said, I took the mickey and asked where his missus was and he said she wasn't here. I asked if she would come next time because she's awesome and he said he couldn't hide her anywhere, but I said you wouldn't have to hide her. I would love to meet her, I think she's very cool. He's a very lucky man and she's brilliant. Prince Harry has been dating the star of Legal Drama Suits since about May last year. There have been reports that Harry and Meghan, who holidayed in Botswana in August, are already engaged. Rumours went into overdrive in mid-October when it was reported that Meghan and the Queen had met and spent an hour together in Buckingham Palace drinking tea. Prince Harry was at Westminster Abbey's Field of Remembrance to lay across during a service ahead of Armistice Day, in memory of those who made the ultimate sacrifice. He looked relaxed as he chatted and laughed with veterans from past and present conflicts. Mr. Weston, from Taunton, Somerset, lost both his legs when an improvised explosive device exploded in 2009 while he was serving with the Royal Engineers 33 Regiment. It was great seeing him again, I met him before at the Afghanistan and Iraq Memorial unveiling, he added. Harry also stopped to talk to seven-year-old Harrison de Gilgir Lewis, who he recognized after meeting him at the Abbey last year. Harrison's uncle, Lieutenant Aaron Lewis of 29 Commando Regiment Royal Artillery, was killed in Afghanistan in December 2008 when insurgents attacked a forward operation base he jointly commanded with Danish troops. Harrison, who was accompanied by his grandmother, Helen Lewis, was wearing his uncle's campaign medals and berry. He has been coming here for four years now to represent his uncle, said Mrs. Lewis, 61, who lives near her grandson in Rochford, Essex. She added, Harry recognized him, they have a bond as they share a birthday. Harry asked him about his uncle Aaron, and he said how proud he was. The prince, dressed in his household division frock coat and peaked cap, laid across in the grounds of Westminster Abbey when he arrived. He solemnly saluted and stood in silence with hundreds of veterans as the last post was played. Harry later stopped to talk to Joan Deville and Diana Lidstone, who served with the Auxiliary Territorial Service, the women's branch of the British Army, during the Second World War. Mrs. Lidstone, 93, from Luton, said, He asked how we were and if we're staying down over the weekend. Mrs. Deville, 92, added that was wonderful to meet Harry on the 100-year anniversary of women serving in the British military. The Prince shared a joke with D-Day veteran George Chandler, 93, who has been coming to the event for 15 years. Mr. Chandler, who served with the Royal Navy Coastal Forces, said, Last year he asked me what's in my bag and I said a bottle of water and a machine gun. This year I told him I didn't bring them and he laughed at that. Around 70,000 tiny crosses, many carrying handwritten messages, are laid on 380 plots in the Abbey grounds representing military regiments, units, organizations and other groups. Harry served for 10 years in the army and was twice deployed to Afghanistan.